Hey, welcome back. In the previous video, I introduced the Mark 8 reproduction PCBs, and in this video, we will start assembling the first uh, of the boards, which is the LED register display. If you don't have a set of the Mark 8 reproduction PCBs and would like to follow along, they are still available for sale at www.calinchuck.com. Alright, let's get to assembling the LED register display board. It's a fairly simple board, but it does contain quite a bit of resistors and LEDs. I have here the Mark 8 construction manual, and on page 4 of the manual, we can see a parts list uh, for this board and all the other boards. I have collected all the parts that we will need for this board. Uh, most of the components are from the 1970s time period, except for a few ICs, but since I'll be using IC sockets, they can easily be replaced. On that note, it would be more historically accurate to solder the ICs directly to the board without using sockets, or uh, to use solder con sockets. And you can do that. In my case, I will opt to using sockets for the first build, just because it's easier to debug. Page 47 of the Mark 8 construction manual contains the parts layout for this board. We will be referencing that page while assembling. We'll start the assembly with the resistors since they are the lowest profile. The IC sockets will be installed next. If you're skipping the sockets, install the ICs instead. Ensure the ICs or sockets are oriented in the correct way before soldering. The next step is to install the Molex connectors. The top connector is 8 positions and the bottom connector is composed of 3 10 position connectors and 1 11 position connector. I will include a link to the part numbers in the description. Let's go ahead and solder them. The LEDs will be installed next. While you could use pretty much any 5mm LED that has a forward current of under 40mA, I will be using these LEDs that I found on eBay, which were introduced in the 1970s. The cathode is usually the shorter lead. This board has a single electrolytic capacitor of 100 microfarads. Ensure that it's oriented correctly. The last three capacitors are all 0.1 microfarad ceramics. I'm going to go ahead and install the ICs into the sockets. 
if you skip the sockets, you should already have the ICs installed. We can use the parts list in the construction manual to determine which IC goes where. We are finished! It's a good idea to clean the flux off the board by using warm water and soap. I've already cleaned mine and I think it looks pretty good. The next step is to verify that the board is operational. If this is your first computer, you won't really have a good way to test your board just yet. But since I have another Marquee that I built in the previous videos, I will connect this board to the computer and test it. It seems to be working as expected. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for the next video where we'll be assembling the next board in the series.